Hey, John, Melissa. Listen, man, it's uh, it's great to uh, to say. Have a great wedding. Ah, yes. How about that? John Ruby wanted me uh, to tell you because he said he doesn't have the courage to say it himself. But there you go. Uh, and it's a good idea to get married, uh, especially in these days. You know, a lot of people clustered together out on a dance floor, all sweaty, dancing with each other. Ushers and bridesmaids making out in the back. <clears throat> Where they keep the coats, the coat check. Now, actually, I kind of uh, envy you, you know, for, for getting married in the midst of all this. Love in the time of cholera, as Gabriel Garcia Marquez said. But uh, I met my wife, Ruth. Well, I don't want to get into that because I don't want to bring you down. But it didn't go well. It didn't go well, you know. She told me to... Stop impersonating a flamingo one time. I had to put my foot down. I mean, that, that was just too much for me, you know, too much. Um, but I don't know. Who knows, you know? I remember I asked Ruth, that's her name, Ruth. One time I said, Ruth, why do you never blink during foreplay? And she said, well, I don't have the time. And I thought, man, that's just, uh, that's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. Oh, well, what are you going to do? I will uh, say uh, one thing, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll maybe tell you a little joke about wedding. But uh, I, 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 I will say about Ruth that she's good. She's a good, I think she's a good person down, down deep. You know what I mean? Uh, and listen, women can do things that men cannot do. You know that Ruth gave birth five times and she still uh, fits into the prom dress that she wore at the prom? Can you believe that? And yet I have given birth zero times and I can't fit into my jeans uh, from two weeks ago that I bought. Yeah. Getting a little old and fat. But, uh, I don't know. I just don't know what to say, John uh, and Melissa, about this this great day. I have a joke to tell you, and uh, I'm pretty excited uh, about that. And uh, Maybe I should get right to the joke, you know? Maybe I should just get right to the joke. I mean... My wife, Ruth, uh, she, uh, boy, I tell you, she, you got to watch out what you get as gifts for, that's a little tip for you, you know, I mean, I, one time, I remember I thought it'd be fun, I replaced uh, the mattress uh, with a trampoline, I tell you, Ruth hit the roof when she found out about that, I mean, it's just, just uh, absolutely terrible, absolutely. I'll tell you another thing. I remember another time I accidentally bought my, my wife a glue stick instead of a, a, a chapstick. And uh, she didn't talk to me for months after that. I mean, it was just absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. But anyways, you know, our, uh, you're getting married, our... Uh, Ruth and I just had our 10 year anniversary and I asked her what she wanted and she told me, she said, nothing would make me happier than if you gave me a diamond necklace. Nothing would make me happier. So I got her nothing. Anyways, I want to tell you a joke. I want to tell you a joke. That this is my favorite joke about marriage. And it's, uh, it's not really about marriage. It's about a marriage that might be falling apart. Uh, it's about a woman that meets with her attorney. She says, I want to divorce my husband. The attorney says, okay, well, let's start with a few questions first. Like what, she asks. Well, she says, or he says, rather, he's an attorney. It's got to be a man. He says, look, lady, do you have any grounds? 
And uh, she says, well, uh, yeah, yeah, we have about five acres out in the country. It's really very nice. He goes, no, no, no. I mean, do you have a grudge? She goes, of course I have. We have two cars. I pretty well have to. Oh, my God. The attorney says, that's not what I mean. <sighs> let, me, let me ask this a different way. Do you have any complaints about him? Well, like what? She says, well, uh, does he beat you? Does he beat you up? No, no, she says. I'm up at least an hour before him every day. Ah, the attorney says. <sighs> well, what about your role here? Do you ever wake up grouchy? She says, no, when he's in a bad mood, I just let him sleep. Exasperated. The attorney is exasperated. He says, I, I'm going to tell you something. Why exactly do you want to get a divorce anyway? Well, the woman said, here's the thing. The guy just can't communicate. <laughs> Isn't that a great joke? Hey, have a great wedding today, and I hope you get married. I hope you stay married for a hundred years. God bless.